So you mentioned Pat Spencer. Yeah. We, 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 we do a lot of lacrosse. I'm, I'm Wayne from Turp Talk, so yeah, yeah. basketball yeah, and lacrosse. Of course. Yeah. Uh, you've got one of the premier athletes in the whole sport of lacrosse coming in. You said you really weren't sure where he fits in. What made him a take for you guys? Well, I, I just think, you know, we didn't have a lot from a basketball perspective other than, like, talking to people, you know, that have played against them and high school coaches and things like that, but that's four years ago. Um, you know, I think what I what I fell in love with with him was just his mentality. Uh, I'm a big believer that if you're the best in the country at something, you know, there's an it factor to you. Yes. Like, there's... He, he has you it. Ha, you have yeah. whatever that it is yeah. from a competitive standpoint, yeah. from a confidence standpoint. Mm-hmm. You know, he believes he's really good. Mm-hmm. We have a very young roster. Um, you know, we I felt like it was it was a chance we're taking. The, mm-hmm. the time I had spent with him, getting to know him better, you know, kind of getting to see what makes him tick, his passion for basketball. It's definitely not a gimmick. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not a circus thing. You know, it's something that we believe he can help us. And he's determined to play at the highest level and show that he's a basketball player, too. And it's been kind of fun to be followed by uh, the lacrosse world on all yep. my social media outlets. Uh, well, lacrosse it, it, Nation and, uh, you know. The, I think uh, everybody <laughs> wants to see if this everybody, works it, because it, Maryland has a guy who plays, who wants to be a quarterback right. next year, and he probably will be. Yeah. There's a lot of guys. No, who, it's cool. And, and I, I actually talked to, to – you know, I had an opportunity to coach a kid who did a similar feat, which I thought was amazing. I coached a kid, Greg Paulus, yep. who was our point guard at yep. Duke for four years, had not touched a football since his senior year in high school, and goes to Syracuse and wins the job yep. in summer, which to me, at a power five, is one of the most amazing things. You know, to go to a, to an ACC school and not, you know, not at, at that position go in and win the job. I mean, so I've seen it done. You know, well, you just said one of my magic words, which is ACC, Duke, and Maryland. So yeah. I'm, not, I'm not actually supposed to like the job you're doing, but the yeah. team you had with McIntosh and Law that played in D.C. Yes. And, and beat Maryland and went on to the tournament was yeah. a lot of fun to watch. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, but uh, what are your best memories of the Maryland-Duke rivalry back in the good old days of the ACC? I mean, those were incredible games to be a part of. Um, I still say to this day there was a couple-year stretch mm-hmm. Uh, you know, in that early 2000s, you know, the 2001, 2002 seasons, where I think we played them four times in 2001, yep. and then twice in 2002, and those six games were as good as anything that I've ever been a part of. Yep. You know, the teams were so good, so talented. You know, the there, the rivalry was intense. The, the fan bases were into it, and you know, looking back on it, you're just honored to be a part of. You know, something that was so special. I mean, whether the games were in Cameron, whether the games were in the old Coalfield House, or right. they you know, played now in Atlanta, they played, they played in Minnesota, Atlanta, they played in Minnesota. Yeah, they played all over the that place. Was, that was an incredible couple years, and and obviously those were games that both teams really got up for, and they were usually very high level games. Turp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the D.C. Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301-251-2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. The Jackler's Law Group's successes have resulted in many distinguished awards, including Best Personal Injury Trial Law Firm USA, Maryland's Personal Injury Attorney of the Year twice, and Super Lawyers designation every single year. We succeed because we're willing to try cases, and insurance companies know it. That's why their claim reps often grumble they pay us more in settlements than any other lawyers. You deserve a great lawyer. If you've been hurt in a car, truck, or train crash, call 855-BIG-DOG-1. Those were the best, the highest rated games ESPN had for yeah, years. I agree. Um, how cool is your new building for those who haven't seen it? We're really proud. You know, the, the new arena is great. We're, we're breaking the op- uh, grand opening of a brand new practice center, the Trainers Performance Center, which will be open in the second week of November. Uh, everything's everything's one stop. They're all connected. Uh, there's been an amazing investment towards basketball at Northwestern, which it makes me hungrier to do my job better, you know, because people not only are saying, you know, we want to be good, they're, they're backing it up with resources and, um, we feel like now it's a level playing field. You know, we feel like now we have you know as nice of facilities as anybody out there, and hopefully that'll matter when it comes to recruiting and, and getting 
young guys to realize that you know Northwestern can be a place where you can have it all. You can go to a great school, you'll have top-notch facilities, be in Chicago and play in the Big Ten. Right. Now, you had a marketing campaign that was looking to make your Northwestern, the hometown team of Chicago. How has that gone so far? I think it's been good. You know, I, I think it's probably ruffled some feathers be, from other schools because there's so many alums from other schools in yeah. Chicago. Yeah. But I think it's given us a little bit of an identity. You know, I, I think it was a great, that was something that was, that I kind of inherited. I wasn't a part of that the whole marketing campaign. Right. But, you know, I think what we're trying to be is whether you've gone to Northwestern or not, we're the hometown team. Yeah. So, you know, we have a great product, whether it's coming to a football game or a basketball game and having the ability to come and bring your family, like adopt us, adopt us as your hometown team. And I think think it's gained some traction. I think you're very easy to root for. Yeah, I hope Uh, so. (laughs) uh, Well, from afar, you're very easy to root for. Uh, What's your relationship with Coach K? I mean, he's like a second father to me. I mean, when I look at my life, I mean, I played with him, played for him for four years, mm-hmm. and then worked by his side for 13. So almost half my life I've been with him. Mm-hmm. So the things I've learned on and off the floor, what he's meant to me and my family, um, the way he's you know helped shape my whole career. I mean, I, I owe him all of that. And he's still an amazing resource for me. You know, someone I can lean on. He's always there for me. He's part of my family. So it's... Uh, it's been a special relationship that's only gotten better. Really? You know, I thought it was a great relationship when I played for him, yeah. but then to work with him and admire what he's done and, and, and kind of become not only coach player, but now more friends uh, has been really special in my life. Oh, got two more, and I'll turn it back over. Uh, how's the thing with Under Armour going? It's been a good partnership for us. You know, I think everybody kind of has to find their right fit. And, you know, I think what they stand for, kind of the, the underdog that's taking on the big boys, I mean, that's what we're trying to do in, our, in, a, in a Big Ten conference. So I think we kind of have a similar mission. Uh, we have the same mentality. They've taken great care of us. They, they take great care of our student athletes. And overall, it's been a really good partnership. I like walking into the Under Armour store in the Miracle Mile, and there's Northwestern yeah. stuff yeah. in the store. That's cool. pretty cool. Other than playing at home, favorite places to play in the Big Ten? Yeah, I mean, I think you got some special environments. I think, you know, obviously the first one that comes to mind is playing in Indiana. I think the history, the way Assembly Hall, I mean, Purdue is a special environment, Michigan State. But then you go down the line. I mean, there's so many great traditions, so many great fan bases that um, that's what's the beauty of playing in the conference is pretty much every night you're going to have a great environment.